today, let's open the box of this books leaf two for the first time and give some first impression. So this is the books leaf two itself, and this is the cover. Yeah, let's try to maybe open the cover first. So it says it supports wake up mode, folding stand, ultra slim and light, and it's lightweight material. So it definitely can be a great addition for your lift, uh, lift two. So apparently, this comes for free if you buy it from the uh, homepage of books. And make sure you are going through. Uh, the official website shop.books.com not the 3w.books.com I didn't choose the color so this is the cover so it says books here and we can see this is where you put uh, put it in yeah, it's pretty nice. It feels like a leather cover. I'm not sure what the exact material it is, but it's really lightweight. And we can take a look on how much weight it is later. So this is the main product. Yeah, here comes to the main device itself. So we have this handle to pull it up. This is the books. You have the button on the side to flip the page. Okay, let's open it up later. Let's take a look on what the accessory it has. So it comes with a USB-C cable, which everyone should have right now. It has a SIM card pin that if you want to put the SIM card, you can have it. And this is the warranty card, and this is quick start guide. So to turn on the device, hold down the power button for 2 and 3 seconds. And you want to charge it. And when it's charging, the indicator shows red. And when it's fully charged, the indicator turns blue. Okay, it's pretty simple quick guide. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, let's put everything aside. We're not going to use them today. Yeah, what's most important about an uh, e-reader is the screen. So this really feels like paper. And let's turn it on. Yeah, maybe I just turned it off. Oh, now it's actually turning it on fully. Device is starting and I have 95% power. So you can choose the language 
I'm going to just leave it as the default language. So this is the terms and the condition. Yeah, I should read them. And why I'm reading them, this is a good way to feel like how you're reading paper. And privacy policy. Okay, I have read and agree. And use network provide time. Yeah, I have time zone. Actually, I'm not sure how to set it up. How to sleep. Five minutes. Inactivity shutdown. 15 minutes. That's the default. Enable gesture. So this page shows how the gesture works. The gesture comes from bottom. So if you swipe up from the bottom, you can get to the ink the ink center or back home screen or just back or you can choose navigation button so this effectively is like different android options i'm going to leave it as default which is the latest android gesture and you can also have uh, the site if you enable that you can do the site to increase the volume uh, Turn on, turn uh, turn up, and turn down the warm light. Okay, so we will. Yeah, we will just leave it on after this step. So the setup is completed. So this is the home page. We have library. Yeah, I guess we will have more books in the library later. So the next tab is door. So it looks like we have some curated books in the default style of this books, Live 2. Yeah, we will have something that you can read immediately. So the next thing is storage. So that's how much data you can put in and this version is 32 gigabytes and we still have 21 gigabytes remaining, which is much more useful when you can install apps or put some um, anime stuff into this books lift too. Next thing, apps. I guess this is probably the main reason why I got this one because I can install any third party apps. And let's take a look. So this is the default apps. We have calculator. Do you really need a calculator on an ebook? But yeah, maybe you need. And music. So this one, you can also read audiobook and screen saver. That's cool. So we will come back to the app store later. So this is the settings page. We can set up the timer. Oh, sorry, not timer. We can set up the time. So this is settings page. We can set up the time, date, we can set up the account and all the other stuff. Okay, so let's go back to the most important part of the books list too, because this is based on Android 12, I believe. And let's take a look on what App Store offers. So the App Store offers reader, news, study, tools, work, different category. So you can see we have uh, different apps that you can download and you can find some uh, yeah, popular apps on different markets. Something that like I probably used like a while ago, like Flipperbot. And you can see we have study tools, something popular like Google Chrome, Notion. Wow, you have Notion here. Okay, I wonder where is the Google Play? Yeah, even you have like Google Play Books, but you don't have Google Play Service or Google Play Store that you can download any third-party library. Uh, okay, setting doesn't have that. Where should we go? So if we go back to the apps, we have app management. Let's take a look. 
yeah we definitely want to enable google play if you want to install third-party apps that's what i guess go to the device activation page to use google suite let's take a look if you were prompt to log in google play don't do that because you will get the same error as i did last time so make sure you look at this gsfid tap here to bind books to your google account this is where you can sign in your google account okay let's say three two one go now you can do this device restoration and you can check i'm not robot and register so device is now registered go back and tap it again let's see okay now we can see if we can sign in google play Okay, now we can sign in again. Let's do three, two, one, go. Now I can sign into the account. And this is the step that we can finally get the Google service. And boom. Yeah, now you are signing in with Play Store. Let's try to open it up. And here is your Play Store. Finally, you can visit all the apps that you want to download. All the apps you already downloaded. So we can try something different this time. And let's see if we can read some book and see how the quality of uh, the book so maybe we can go well maybe just go some classic full edition download can we start reading okay let's see how downloading speed it is well yeah the book is probably small so books new reader so this chapter so this is the way to read the text and let's see so this is the way to config you can config the lighting you can config the device itself and this is notification dragging down and this is the different app setting and this is going back so we go to read the book again so we have this drag button if we tap on that do you want to expand the floating toolbar if you hide you can cut by swiping from left okay so yeah this is like the button that you can also uh, change the page look at the progress and you can change the format you can make it bigger make it more bold and also some enhancements and font you can have different chinese and english font and a couple of system font so if you like for example uh, roberto only read fonts and submit to the document so yeah so you can have more options here and you can also change the trust contrast yeah the speed is pretty good so switching page is pretty quick and the button the tactility of the button also is very satisfying so let's see if you quick click multiple page 
yeah, you can pretty much like directly jump multiple pages at once and immediately it goes to several pages later. Okay, let's see if we can try to change the front lighting. Okay, so this is the front light. So if we make it dark, so this is the warm light, this is cold light. So yeah, I feel like overall, as someone who didn't read a lot in the dark environment, the backlight is really enough for me to read but I would still recommend you having some reading lights so you don't really need to put a lot of like backlights you can still read them really well yeah that's why you need an e-reader okay yeah this is pretty much the initial uh, unbox and oh yeah we want to see how we can attach the books leave two to its own. Okay, let's see if we can go this direction. Yeah, it's a great, nice protection. Also, there is magnetic to put the device. Oh, yeah, in sleep. Supposedly, maybe yeah, yeah, put the device in sleep. And also open that up. Yeah, maybe there's some bugs around here. Okay, yeah, it's not too bad. And it you can also use it like a standing mode. Okay, let me see how that goes. Yeah, I'm trying to see if like can stand that correctly so maybe the other way like this yeah to be honest it didn't really make a lot of <laughs> change with this case so probably it's more for protection yeah because the ink screen is really fragile so you don't want to directly put the device in your backpack and get the screen cracked okay yeah that's pretty much for this device, the first impression, I will say, yeah, it's pretty much a device that like I could use it for reading books a lot and looking forward to be able to download more apps from the Google Play Store. But so far, the experience has been a little bit overwhelmed. So many features, if you're coming from Kindle world, this is definitely much more than just like reading. So potentially you can uh, do more things with it, but Technically, you should still just use it for reading or just viewing all the digital stuff to protect your eyes. Okay, yeah, if you want to know more or any have, have any questions, leave comments down below and I will try to answer them in the next review video. Bye!